I think we're almost here, our first clue. So, let me start by, let's start off by saying this. First of all, just wanna say I'm filming at 4K. I got a brand new lens, and I'm using a glide cam, so I might have smoother shots than usual. That's all I gotta say for now. Um, saying, oh yeah, look at that, old Ford V8. Yeah, holy shit. I never seen one of these before. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> I don't think we have too much time. The sun's already starting to come down. We gotta keep moving though. But we're getting closer. A road, finally something. Let's follow it. It might lead us to where we gotta go. If the rumors are true, then that means we're as close as we've ever been. Now you guys must be wondering, why are we in the woods right now? And why is there abandoned cars everywhere? Well, from what you've seen. So this is pretty much lots of rumors going on around the internet that there's an abandoned car graveyard somewhere. And we're here to find out where it is and if we can discover it. Now we've been walking through the woods for the past five hours and we finally just, and I've been, I haven't filmed until I wanted to find something. Something that could show that, you know, clues that we might be close. Uh, yeah. Zoom in on that. It looks like there could be some more cars down there, yes. So, I'll give some history on the place, if it's even real. Suppose there's a guy back in the 1960s who, as a hobby, would take cars in and work on them and scrap them for parts, you know, whatever. Anyways, I guess as time went on, days and months and years, he would wake up in the woods and more cars would just be randomly popping out. He would wake up every day and a new car would just be there. Don't know whose car it is, don't know nothing. He just, he just would wake up to cars. And this is going way back before maybe, like pretty much it became pretty much a junkyard. Years went on, he would wake up to fire trucks being there, police cars, just randomly in the woods. And so that's what happened. As, as Before it was a hobby, you know, he would take cars in, he would, you know, he put up ads saying, hey, drop your car off, so and so. And you know, I'll use them uh, for scrap. And to do so, I'll do you a favor by, you know, drunking your car for you so you don't have to deal with the, the broken car. Like I said, as, when, as time went on, he would wake up to see more and more cars every day just showing up randomly. He didn't know who car they were. He didn't know anything. During the end of the years, you know, it's not 2016, he didn't know what to do. He, he now was left with thousands and thousands and thousands of cars. And... What do you know? We made it. Look at this. Cars are everywhere. And they're old, dude. Some cars, like I said, I mean, this is crazy. This is legit. This is like discovering the Atlantic City. Wow. We have a lot to explore. It's almost like an apocalypse, how the cars are just here in the woods, in the middle of nowhere. We have everything. Trucks, even school buses. Look over there. It says school blank department. They don't even say what school this is or nothing. It's not even wheels on it. It's so quiet. I'm just surrounded by tons and tons of cars, trucks, work vehicles can't believe this. I think this might be an old mail truck. I'm not sure. It's so rusted though. Hey, look at this old sports car. We've been walking now for about, you know, a good five minutes inside here. And it keeps going and going and going. Wait, what happened? I really don't even know where I am right now. Yeah, for real, me either. But I'm just enjoying this. Like, I'm so curious. Like, dude, it could be like dead bodies in here. <laughs> Yeah, let's find that pathway. Oh, dude, look at that. More school buses, too. 
Do you look at it? Oh, these are oh, the old towing trucks. I've seen these in movies. Oh, the wrong turn. Dude, I feel like I'm in the wrong turn. The movie. Those crazy uh, k killer hillbillies. Oh my god, a path. Yes. Wow. Dude, this car's cut in half. My god. So much stuff. So much metal and rust. And rims. We came up to another right turn. Or keep going straight. I guess we'll keep going straight. John's so far up ahead, I don't even know where he went anymore. I'm just too busy filming. If you just stay quiet enough, all you can hear is the sound of the wind. But look at this. The old Wise Chips. I used to eat those a lot. They still make them to this day. I love that, that color. It's like a, what am I even calling it? Like a light blue? I don't know, I just like it. You know what, actually, let's go in here. Wow, it's so dark. Go down under here. Uh, oops. Uh, whoops. Another really old car. Whoa. I'm like in a new dimension of abandoned cars. Another car on top of a car. This is so old. Jeez. I'm not really a car person at all, to be honest. Actually, look. See, I don't know much about cars at all, so I'm just gonna go, go check out all these cars and be like, oh, look at that car, look at that car, because personally, I don't have any information on cars. I don't really know old cars or nothing. I just know Mustangs, and I own a Mustang, and I love Mustangs. Huh. Actually, I don't even know where I am anymore. I don't think I ever, I ever did. If anything, maybe I'll just yell John's name after. <coughs> Guess a really old mobile home. Got the Christmas tree. Damn. Kind of spooky, actually. Another tow truck. I'll try to show you all an idea of what I'm seeing right now. I've been walking for the past hour now. It just never ends with cars. It's pretty awesome. Could film a movie here. If there was a killer out here, he'll definitely get me. <laughs> but I run pretty quick. If it is, then I'm here. I mean, I don't think... How could there even be a bigger one? I mean, this is this is huge. These are some awesome classic cars right here. Look at those. It goes further. Huh. I'm trying to find where I found that silver bus. I just pointed to it a minute ago. Maybe over here. Well, that sunray with this car in the picture gives a nice effect. I think it is. It's an army truck. Whoa. This is cool, actually. It was a medic truck. Holy shit. Look at that. How the hell, how did that even get there? I think about this. There's cars and trash and junk all over here. It's just filled. This whole, this whole nature, we kind of destroyed it if you think about it. I mean, this was once just, you know, nice woods and it's just screwed up. So it makes you it makes you wonder like we're gonna keep producing right we're gonna keep making up all these products tr and we're gonna eventually just keep on trashing more and more stuff the trash is gonna build up what are we gonna do like a hundred years from now when we have so much trash 
What are we gonna do? Just throw it into space? You know what I'm saying? It's weird if you think about it. I don't know, just random thoughts that's always going in my head. Right here is the warning to leave this place or else the crazy hillbillies will get us. Oh, there's that. That's the sign you that's the sign, it means death. So we're about, to head, we're about to head out of here right now. Everyone go expo uh, follow Exploring with John. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I gotta go get some chicken, you know, I'm so hungry. Exploring gets me so hungry, gotta go get that. 